The James Webb Space Telescope is NASA's next flagship telescope uh, to be deployed in space. The significance of the Webb mission is that Webb will answer some of those most fundamental questions we have. Where do we come from? Where are we going? Are we alone in the universe? There's so many questions like that that humanity has been after for so many years, I mean, almost ever since we began. And now we have the opportunity to, to really answer some of them. So Webb, I think it's fair to say, is the most complicated machine we've ever imagined launching into space. So the James Webb Space Telescope is often called the successor to the Hubble Telescope. But that's really slightly a misnomer. It's a very different kind of telescope. The Hubble telescope is optimized to see the part of the universe that our eyes can see, whereas the James Webb telescope is optimized to see in the infrared part of the spectrum, which gives us a whole different set of information about the universe. When you observe the universe, when you look at the universe, there's so many different types of light. And each type of light will tell you something different about the objects that you're seeing. We have plans for the first year, where things that we think we'll see, we'll think we'll see the first galaxies, um, we, we will characterize atmospheres of exoplanets, but we will find new things that we have no idea exists right now. And I'm so excited to find out what that is. Because the telescope is so large, it doesn't fit into the rocket that will launch it, so it has to be folded up. And once it's launched, it will unfold in space to be able to conduct its primary mission. The principal problem with observing in this part of the spectrum is getting everything very cold. This is the key to Webb and its famous sun shield. So we launch it in a direction away from the sun. So we can deploy a shield that blocks all of the infrared light from the Earth, the Moon, and the sun. And the telescope looks off in this direction of space. Okay. And on the sun-facing side of the bottom layer, the temperature is about 250 degrees, and on the telescope facing side of the top layer, you've deflected so much of the light that the temperature is minus 375 degrees. And that keeps the telescope, the instruments, and everything about it cold so it can detect these faint signals from distant space. A telescope is really a time machine. Because light travels at a finite speed through the universe, we see the universe as it existed when that light was emitted. You look at the moon, it takes light about one second to travel from the moon to us. So we see the moon as it was one second ago. Webb will be able to look back in time in the universe 13.5, 13.6 billion years. That's how far away it is. It would take, it takes light 13.5, 13.6 billion years to travel the distance that we can see with, with Webb.